Well, it is National Indoor Plant Week, and well, being a plant parent isn't easy. It can be rewarding whether you were born with a green thumb or not. There are some things you should keep in mind to make sure that your plants are alive. Jocelyn Ho is here with us now from the Rare Plant Fairy with the benefits of keeping indoor plants and keeping them thriving. Exactly. That's the main goal. So first off, we have this beautiful display. Yeah. Um, show us some of these. Do you have some favorites here? Oh, so my favorite is probably this one. This one's called the Alba Monstera. And this one ex is exhibiting like a half moon pattern. You see it's yeah. like half green and half white. So this one's a highly sought after one and we try to grow a lot of these. That's gorgeous. And you were actually saying this one in front of me is a banana tree. Yes, it's a green and white banana tree called the Musa Florida. It grows green and white edible bananas. That is, and you said best for salads. Yes, because in the- commercial break. Yes, because the I fruit was, doesn't brown. Because I was like, how do I eat these? Yeah. Even though I'm not a huge banana fan, but I do like banana bread. So, you know, keep that in mind. Yes. <laughs> so what would you tell people as far as keeping plants alive? Because that's where I struggle. <laughs> so most people struggle with consistent care. When they first bring their new plant baby home, they over baby it, they, they look at it every hour for the first few days. And then after the first week, they forget about it. So consistent care is very, very important in keeping any plant alive. And I would think part of that consistent care, and this is also where I struggle, is you get like a succulent where you don't want to overwater it or like yes. a little cactus plant where you're mm -hmm. not supposed to water it every day. But then yeah. you also get the plants where you need to care for it a little bit more. Yes, so of course you have to research the plant that you have. Every plant is different, but um, a lot of people struggle with watering, you're right. And every time when you water, you're supposed to water your plant very thoroughly. So overwatering is not how many times you water per week, but overwatering happens when, you know, overwatering happens when you water multiple times, you know. Okay. So if if I were to like pour water into this plant, I, there's no such thing as pouring too much water. It's just if you do it too often. For exa exactly. Perfect. So tell us a little bit about your business, because you were telling me during the commercial break that you actually started in the middle of the pandemic, which I is did. crazy. I did. So I started in the pandemic. I was collecting so many plants. I, d I wasn't working at the time. And my husband was complaining I had too many plants in the house <laughs> and told me to get rid of some. And that's how I started. I sold a couple of plants to get rid of some of my plants. And that was the seed money that started the whole business. Now, do you have a brick and mortar shop where people can go and kind of shop around and look at some plants? Yeah, so our showroom is open on Saturdays by appointment on our website. And we also drop um, our weekly rare plant uh, new arrivals on our website at seven o'clock on Fridays. Ooh, yeah. so you look forward to that on every Friday. Now it is National Indoor Plant Week. And as we mentioned, uh, there are some benefits to keeping some indoor plants. What would you say is the number one benefit? I would say the, it helps with your mood. I mean, all these plants give all my customers so much joy and gives me so much joy to watch these plants grow new leaves. Oh, I love it. Now, um, you did mention your website. Just one more time for our viewers. What, what is the website and uh, is that your primary base for selling these plants? Yes, our, our website is rareplantfairy.com and we release new plants every Friday at 7 p.m. And we have customers that shop from all around the world and we ship everywhere. Awesome. Jocelyn, thank you so much for being here with us this morning and just a little bit of tips to hopefully keep our plants alive. You know what's when dying for me? If you could help me with my lawn, which is completely <laughs> opposite, because Hallie Vogel was just saying we're going to be in the 80s this week. So, I mean, water, right?